Hey, Richard Knudsen here again, and in this demonstration, I wanted to show you one of my very favorite new add-on products for Dynamics CRM. It's a product called Inside View. Interesting combination of an add-on product and a mashup. So let me show you what I mean. Inside View is a tool that you can use for prospecting for a customer relationship management system. I'll show this uh, demonstration with my Dynamics CRM online. And I can use this tool to find out information about counts, leads, contacts, and import that information directly into my CRM. And I'll illustrate by opening up the inside view account record. So here's a slightly customized account form in my Dynamics CRM. And probably the most obviously customized thing about this is this little inside view tab I have down here at the bottom. So for every account, what Inside View does is it's plugged into its uh, so-called iframe down here. So this is Inside View, and Inside View uses the name of the account and probably some other information, maybe the website and address. It goes out and looks up in its databases, and I'll show you what those are in a minute. It shows information about the account, key information, people, which we'll come back to in a minute. So that would be nice if I could see information about an account, but watch this. I can sync key info, and what Inside View will do is search all of the databases. So it's aggregating up information from different business information databases, Business Week, Hoover's, Jigsaw, and other places on the web, web references. Aggregates up that information, and it's going to allow me to bring its information into my record. So notice uh, we don't have much information in our account record for inside view but there's plenty of information in these databases that are aggregated up here so I can simply click update account and I'm going to get all this information brought into my account record if I go to the details tab here I won't see it yet but if I refresh the form I will so I just click F5 to refresh and now when I go back to the details tab, you see all this information now is brought in about the account. Revenue, private ownership, number of employees, a nice description of the company here. So that's an interesting thing. I brought information in from the account and showed you how we can sync that up with the information that I already have in my database. Okay, so we saw how we can sync key information about the company, but now let me show you which is even more favoritist things about this product is uh, the information it gives us about the people at these companies. So if I click on the People tab in Inside View, I see people arranged by various category: CEOs, CXOs, Managing Directors, VPs, Directors, and the other category. Now Inside View is a small private company, but even so, we've got pretty good information here about Inside View. And if I click on my contacts, so I want to compare the information I see here with the information I have internally to my CRM database. So I've got three people, Craig Volm, Mark Paramond. But let's go look and see the people who are here. And notice there are some people here that I don't have. And um, if I were uh, sort of going through the exercise of prospecting into these accounts, I might be looking for people with certain um, titles, sales manager, quality engineer. You know, if I sell something that sales managers want to buy, then CJ Roby might be a good candidate for me. Look at the quality of this information, by the way. So let's click the export button. Pops up. CJ Roby gives me the opportunity of creating a new contact, and it's going to automatically bring in all that information into my CRM and associate it with this account. So I'll bring in Satish Kandakanda, create a new contact record. If I wanted to, I could create a new lead record, but we're working with contacts here. I go to directors, I see good old uh, Mark Paramond, and I see some information here. Now, Mark Paramond happens to be somebody that I already have in my database. And look what Inside View does in this case. It recognizes that there's a matching contact already in my CRM database, and it gives me the ability to update the information that I have with information contained in the inside view. 
databases. So if I click continue here, that's what I can do. I can enrich the data that I already have by bringing in the pieces of information aggregated up from inside these databases that I don't have. So I click update contact here and not only is it good for new contact records but also as you see from up for uh, enriching the data that uh, I already have. So let's bring in a couple more. And Jason will do and really build out my database here. Certainly people from inside view ought to be willing to uh, receive the emails that I send them after all the bragging on them I'm doing on my blog and such places. But I really do like this uh, like this product. Okay, so I brought in a few contact records. We go now to contact. You still see the same three, but that is because I haven't refreshed this list. So here are all the contact records I just brought in. If I open up Jason Muldoon's record, this is a new contact record that I brought in. See it here? With all this information that I would have otherwise had to type by hand. Let's tag him with an interest area of dynamic CRM and SharePoint so he gets all the right stuff for that matter. Let's uh, select all those people, do a bulk edit on those records, and uh, make it so they all receive my lovely newsletter. Okay, so that's a pretty good illustration of how you can take advantage of Inside View with a, uh, a small, even with a small private company. Now, let's go to one of my other favorite companies here to round this out. Let's open up Microsoft and see how Inside View does with a large public company. So it's a little bit more room here. Okay, we got lots of information about Microsoft. Let's sync key information here and see what they have that I do not have, if anything. Plenty, okay? So I've got more current revenue information here. And notice that if I've got data in a field in my dynamic CRM account record here in this case, by default, Inside View will not suggest to overwrite that, but in this case, it's appropriate because it looks like this is a more recent, right? This is a, you know maybe a couple of years ago, and this is the most recent sales number. All the rest of the information I'm going to be able to use to enrich the data that I have, including the description and everything else. I'll go ahead and update the account record. And close it. So now we come over here. And refresh. Nothing on the details tab now, but after I refresh and navigate back to the details tab, now I've got a nice, much more rich set of data about this account than I had before. Now I go to contacts. Now we've got plenty of contacts in here, okay? But there may be some, maybe Toby Richards, maybe his record could, could use some updating. Let's see if my pal Toby is going to be available in Inside View. And let's see what happens if I search Toby Richards. Wow, look at this. Toby's a, a heavy hitter now. Toby, congratulations. So Toby is a GM of community and online support. And I can now export that information. It will presumably find a match. I've got a matching contact. It says update Toby Richards. Go ahead and do that. Click continue. Now we'll compare those records side by side and notice how much better the information is that uh, Inside View has than what I've got in my record, my paltry pieces of information about Toby. So I'm going to go ahead and update the contact information. Toby's a big wheel now, so I guess I better contact him post haste. Let's go look at his record here. Where is Toby? Here he is. And now notice all of this information is uh, populated on Toby's record. So that's a pretty good illustration of how you can uh, take advantage of uh, Inside View in a number of different contexts. So what is it? It's an add-on product. It runs on the load event, some JScript in the account form that you, a pretty simple customization. They provide the code and then you provide some credentials to allow the Inside View uh, web services to talk to your CRM database. And it plugs here and plugs in this iframe here and uh, it just works. It's a, it's a great product. I recommend it.